What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and welcome to Breast Tactics. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from our little hands, we are officially in VR, and this is the first VR title to be showcased on my channel. So first and foremost, big thanks to Oculus Rift. They are sponsoring this video, and I gotta say, there's a lot of partnerships I've done, but Getting hands-on and finally taking the dive into an Oculus is probably the best one I've done so far. For a long time, I've been on the fence about VR myself. I wasn't sure how much I've enjoyed it. Um, in the past, I've experienced minor VR sickness, and after spending the better part of a Sunday just kind of messing around in VR, I am officially a fan. It is a ton of fun, and especially once you get your VR legs, like... You put on a headset and then the next time you take it off, you're like, oh my God, it's already dark outside. What happened? So of course, the game we're looking at today, as you can see up there, is Brass Tactics. And we've included a link to that right down below in the description with some more info about the game and check it on out. But the point of today's video is going to be to go in, kind of take a look at the game and show you what it's all about. So Brass Tactics at a most basic level is a VR real-time strategy game. Now I know I don't showcase RTS games very much on the channel, but RTS was basically the building blocks for me as a gamer. Uh, growing up, I would actually get yelled at by my dad because I would fall asleep playing StarCraft at the family computer, and then he would wake me up and be like, Damn it, Billy, it's five in the morning, go to bed, and I'm like, oh, sorry, 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 and I'd scurry off to bed. So stuff like StarCraft and WarCraft 3, those are the games I grew up playing and loving, and I've always been a big RTS fan. So finally doing that in VR, is kind of like a surreal experience for me. It's a lot of fun. So down here, we have our custom loadout. Uh, there's a couple different units. This is kind of the balanced loadout. That's the aggressive one, defensive. This is the one I'm going for. We got a nice base with warriors and archers. Our tier two units involve tanks, mechanics, artillery, and then anti-air with the wasps. And then we got the Titan, which is the coolest thing in the game, in my opinion. But either way, today we're gonna be jumping into a quick solo match. Uh, I haven't done uh, this, let's do, hmm? Let's do this map. I haven't done that one yet. We'll do this one. Uh, we're actually only going to be playing on easy as well. The computer in this game does not mess around. Uh, so to better showcase all the mechanics, I felt easy is a good choice. Wastes. The scions will battle for domain. Combat begins. That in guy. Three. He's a dick. Two. One. Commence. So, as you can see, you're able to basically turn your palm up and it pulls out a, uh, a pallet, if you will, with your different things you can build, warrior towers, archer towers, scout towers, and you automatically gain resources. When you capture a region, gold will start being mined. On top of that, your jewels just build up over time, and so you have to manage basically creating your units, which will use uh, gold, in some cases jewels as well, as well as managing upgrades. So it's definitely kind of a, a decent management system. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That'll increase our gold production. And let's see, what region do I wanna go for? I want something that has a big old chunk of gold. That only has one gold, that has one gold. As you can see, you're able to just grab with one button and kind of swing around the map. You can see it like kind of creates a pivot. Uh, if I do it with both, I can raise or lower the map if I wanna get a nice up close you look at my units right here look at them they're like little sword dudes uh but so far the game is pretty fun grabbing the units as you can see you can just swing across them to grab multiple at the same time oh that's for warriors i'm gonna do that i'm focusing on a early game tactic around just getting my warriors out but i am gonna start increasing gold production here in a second let's see what our friend down here is doing he's also doing warriors and he's expanding over to that region not too worried about that. Guys over here. And we're going to create our first set of archers in just a moment. There we go. Archers are out. And from here, we're going to be upgrading our warriors more. Um, up here. I don't see gold in this region. One gold pile. Let me see if there's any regions that have double gold piles. I could focus on just grabbing all three mid regions. Maybe you control this. What is this thing? Is this doing anything good? I don't know. Um, let's move them. Need to advance up to there. I need to get a scout tower out. Scout towers are really useful to get. And actually, I'm just gonna push forward right now. A little bit more. We're about halfway there. 
Oh, what do I want? Let me let me get another tower up first, and then I'll work on upgrading. Uh, now archers. We need more ore. We're gonna start creating them. Our warriors are doing good. It, see, this is so cool to me. It's like. You know, in an RTS, you typically sit there and you monitor the mini-map and whatnot, and instead we're just sitting here and we're just, we're surveying the entire battlefield like a massive overlord. It's so freaking cool, just the concept of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put down a scout tower, and the scouts are cool, because you can use those for harassment, so I can go in and attack and then send my scouts in, and they'll take down his guys that are actually doing the mining. And actually, uh, guys, we're gonna bring you over here, because he has quite an army built up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is that is definitely not a small army to mess nope. with. You can just point at structures and build units. Units usually cost gold, as I mentioned. So take those out before he tries to do anything. Whatever he's doing over there. Those guys over here. Scouts start creating. I think this may be a good chance to attack. I'll wipe these guys out. I need to get a next round of upgrades here. So I can so I upgrade my castle. I get up to a perfect timing. Put that down. All of our warriors are now upgraded. See, they have absolutely demolished that. We're going to retrieve them out. Pull them out of there. Um, let me see. Our castle here. has increased in level. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Guys, this is... Oh, I don't know, they're on the archers already. Screw it, they're upgraded. I'll let that battle go down. Um, what do I want? I want mechanics. No, I don't have enough gems for it. No! Uh, more scouts, maybe? No, let me hold off. Let me wait and get mechanics in a bit here. They're doing okay. We're gonna attack that. We're gonna hit his home region right now. We're gonna take just these guys and pull them around. Everything else, I want to push forward. These guys, we're sending them straight to attack his mining. So the scouts, you use those as harassment. As they kill the miners, you'll gain gold from that. Come on, come on. Let's go, that's going. i send them over there. Oh no, 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 no. Back up, 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 back up. pound weasel-brained idiot. Shut up, dude. God, he's such a dick. He is the only thing I don't like about this game. Very pretentious. I want to say they got they got the guy that does uh, Littlefinger from Game of Thrones, because you can hear it in his voice, and he has the same level of pretentious asshole as Littlefinger. Okay, I need a upgrade. Um, ooh, factory would be really good. Let me hold off. I can build a factory soon, and then that'll increase production. Yes. So watch these guys. Gonna send them in. Gonna get that gold. Look at them. Bing! Gold pieces. Gold pieces. Get harassed, nerd. Tower Q full. Ooh. Uh, let's build that. Warriors, we got a turret up. He's gonna be playing some kind of assault. I ain't about that life. Uh, veteran. First improved cooldown. Faster attacks, Voltaic Warriors. I like Stealth Warriors. They basically can sneak right up on Archers, and it looks like he is going heavy on the Archers. But Voltaic is also pretty crazy. Um, what to do here? Well, hang on. First things first. Let me grab them and put them over there with my army. Uh, Alright, let's put a Artillery out. Artillery is really nice. They function as uh, kind of like the siege tanks of the game, if you will. We're actually going to keep our army here. I need to force him to, like, withdraw back. As you can tell, he is... Oh, shit, no! Get out of there! Get out of there! That Those are my healers, you dick! Nope. Get away from them! No! You already killed two of them! This is why I hate this guy. All right, we're gonna stealth warriors send them in and beat some ass. First, unit cap reached. You know what? Let's let's go. Send that in. Turret up. I'm gonna do our turret and double artillery. Uh. Everybody! 
Actually, hmm, do I grab an upgrade or do I claim another region? Let me claim this region. Uh, what do I want? Tanks are nice. Uh, a little bit more before I can build the tanks. Oh, you think Gerald would do my bidding without a liver under my watch? Some do need a bit of extra motivation. 14, what do I need? I need a 15. You know what? We're going to get the factory up and running. That'll increase my gem production. Um, Alright, this looks good. So, when we select units, we can hold back to make them stay or just go forward and we'll issue like an attack command with them. So, right now, they are going to destroy everything they encounter on their way. We're going to work on getting up to level 3 and we're going to start building the plans for uh, destruction. But meanwhile, let's watch this battle. So, our guys right here, we're going to activate their ability. They have a heal burst. You can see right now, like, even though units are taking damage, that heal burst the is entered our territory. keeping everybody up, and this is, this is basically done. Like, he doesn't really stand a chance right now. As he pulls units away, I will be pushing in in a moment. Once this upgrade hits, we're going for stealth warriors, which are going to be absolutely brutal. Come on, baby. There we go. Bing! He doesn't even know what's about to hit him. Oh, ladies' hands and a load of gold. Already on top of you, dude! You can't do nothing! The stealth warriors are too OP! They're actually not that OP. They're fairly balanced, but... Alright, uh, let's see. What do I want Why here? Why the ladies' name did you think attacking me there was a good choice? No, um, actually... I need to upgrade more. I need to upgrade. My people will uh, not have to veteran you. scouts, veteran archers. Let's do veteran archers. That should put our castle up. Yes, we have enough. The castle is coming to level three. That is what we want. We're gonna group all of our units together. Uh, Tower maxed. Our castle has advanced. Want to get a couple uh, medics? For the artillery. He's got tanks out. Things are crazy. Sorry, dude. I have multiple artilleries. Your whole uh, tank thing, it's not going to survive. Got to get them up on even ground deploy. Like I said, basically the siege tanks of the game. Fire! Oh, he actually killed one of them. That's disappointing. How's our, where's our little dude at? We really need you over there, man. Supposed to be protecting everybody. Time for a little micro. No, get off of that guy. Come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. A muddy cat reeking of carrion would be a fitter ruler than you. God, he's such a dick. Do you guys hear the things he's saying to me?
And you have about 10 seconds until you're doomed. We're gonna send them all over, group up. See, now, now I got like, now we're looking good. I got this guy out here, he's healing. The health's coming back up. I'm just gonna slowly caddy advance them up. A very scumbag tactic for those that have played StarCraft. Just keep piggybacking tanks forward. While keeping them healed, and yes, let's just watch this for a moment. The f my favorite part of the game. Look at him. Look at my construction. Is almost completed. Yes. Move your little arms. Move your arms, my child. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Ultimate destruction will now commence. Send forth the titan. Destroy all in your path. Warriors support his advance. Main army. Meet up with the artillery. Prepare to destroy the enemy and all that remains of him. Actually, I'm probably not even going to send in the army. I'll end up letting uh, letting the titan just do the work for the most part. So we'll just move these guys over here. Because this guy truly is awesome. I don't think you're within range. We gotta move you up. Watch this. <laughs> Look at this tower. You ready for this? Boom! Two hits. Three hits. And it would have been. It's basically dead. Oh, he has a turret. Whatever are we gonna do? Look at this thing. Look at this thing. What do you think you're gonna do, turret? You got no chance, the titan's out. Dun 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 dun. Boom! Dun 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 dun. Boom! And the battle's done. Everything, attack, destroy. This is done. Welcome to the game, baby. I got the finger guns. Yeah, you pretentious dick. That's what you get. Talking all that shit. Look at that. 1504. Get down. Your leadership, the freedom you offer, will lead these people to ruin. Ooh. So let's see. Bronze bonus in the final score. I definitely took longer than necessary. Let's take a look at that map there. So you can see we had our, our first little skirmish there. I whooped his ass. But despite that, we're we're keeping up. And then he built that castle, and then I got up. And you can see his rapid decline into where I made him my bitch. And uh, right here, the point where the Titan was, you can see that. That basically solidified that he was not coming back. Uh, there we go. But anyway, that is Brass Tactics. So all in all, uh, I would say it's a pretty solid entry into VR for real-time strategy. I mean, the controls are fluid. The unit balance felt pretty good. Uh, I do like that you can kind of customize your setup versus where like, you know, with StarCraft, you play different factions and you're all the same faction here, but oh, swap view. Like I said before, you can kind of customize your loadout. So you can really, um, you know, just pick a feel for what you want. So for being the, the first RTS game, at least I think it's one of the first RTS games in VR, I think they did a hell of a job. Either way, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Obviously, this is my first VR title, but it certainly won't be my last. I can't wait to check out some other stuff with this. But either way, thanks for coming by. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will catch you guys next time with more Brass Tactics.